time and place set a regularly scheduled monthly meeting of the Tax Cab Authority Board of the State of Nevada. The record should reflect that present are uh, Vice Chair Soderberg, Member Graf, myself, and Research Chair, and that J.D. Decker has been excused and will not be with us today. Uh, so I will call us to order, and I will ask the administrator to lead us in the play. Thank you. Thank you. To the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I have been provided notices of posting and affidavits of posting, which appear to me to be in order. Um, Madam Secretary, are you in agreement that this meeting has been properly noticed and posted yes. under the open meeting? Takes us to agenda item two, which is our first public comment session. This matter is on our agenda for the purposes of taking comment from others within the jurisdiction of the board. While we may not take action on any of those uh, matters brought to our attention today, we uh, welcome comments from the public. Is there anybody present in the room in Las Vegas that would like to make public comment at this time? Seeing none, um, Madam Secretary, is there anybody online who wishes to make public comment? No. No. There being no uh, remote public commenters or in-person public commenters, we'll close agenda item two. Agenda item three is for us for approval of the September 18th, 2024 minutes of the board. Uh, members of the board have had an opportunity to review the minutes. Are there any changes, additions, or corrections? I Here. see nothing to change. No. So hearing none, uh, all those in favor of approval signify by saying aye. 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 The minutes are approved. Agenda item four is on as a regular matter on our agenda for industry discussion so that members of the industry can bring to our attention uh, any questions or concerns. Uh, or uh, comments related to uh, matters before the board and the authority uh, and any uh, proposals they might want to make. Is there any member of the industry that would like to address us on agenda item? We're rocking and rolling. None. There's no member, member of the, there's no member of the industry that wants to comment remotely. No. Um, that will close agenda item. Four. Agenda item five is set for a continued public hearing of the board on our initiated proposed future special event surcharges to modify taxi rates for services provided during special events and proposed designation of uh, special events. And this is on the agenda for our continuing review by way of uh, framing of the issue. Um, we have Previously, as the board knows and the public knows, um, conducted some uh, pilot programs, and we're now into the process of deciding uh, how we want to deal with this on a more permanent kind of annualized basis. Um, at the last meeting, we approved um, a one-off surcharge order for F1, uh, which the order will be issued uh, this week uh, on that matter, um, but still before us is a more global order as to what other events uh, or descriptions or designations of special events that we might want uh, folded into a, uh, of a, a global order, uh, but there is no global order before us at this point. This is for additional uh, input. So I do know that um, the administrator has some materials he wants to share with us, and so I'll ask administrator. Thank Mark, you, Chairman. Take um, over. I'm very good at this. I'm going to punt to my <laughs> to my stat guy. Uh, Curtis Mel has 
has uh, put some statistics together that I think are relevant to the issue at hand, and I'd like to have him go through some statistics I think you were provided, and I, I believe the industry was provided a, a copy of them as well. So uh, I'd like to have Chris come up and, and explain those. Yeah, I'm also uh, the part-time IT guy. <laughs> <laughs> we're having a bit of a video issue with the recording. Oh, okay. So uh, if you bear with me for just a moment. It'll crush my graphics. Oh, it's not on the <laughs> picture's not on. <laughs> I always thought we should do these by radio. <laughs> well, while Curtis is, is working on that, sure. I, I'd like to say a few comments. First of all, I'd like to thank the industry. They, they came to my office a few days ago and we sat down and talked about a lot of this. Um, I don't believe the statistics were shown at that time, but, uh, but we did talk about a lot of a lot of the things following the surcharge. And uh, October historically has been a very busy month for uh, for the taxi industry. Last weekend um, was no exception, very busy. We had Raider Gaming, we had Eagles in town at, at uh, the Spear, we had other events going on in town, and, and the taxi cabs, I think, were probably hopping. But I did receive a phone call from, uh, from the Spear. They were, uh, they were having difficulties getting cabs to the spare, and they had five or 600 people lined up and no cabs. And I had one of my supervisors go down. Uh, they actually took a video of it, pretty grainy, but you can see what's going on. Um, we called the Cabot dispatch, and uh, they were trying to send people every five minutes. And I ended up calling them, spoke with them as well. Uh, they can't, they, they weren't able to get the cabs going uh, there either. And this isn't the first time we've had this issue at the Sphere. So I think that the reason I bring that up is I think that really plays into what we're trying to do. One, to get drivers into cabs instead of driving for a TNC, and two, servicing the public with having more cabs available because there's more drivers. And um, it's a problem and we, we need to address it. And I appreciate that the board is going to take that on. And uh, hopefully we can come together and, and come up with a good solution. One of, the, one of the things that we did discuss is possibly having a venue, uh, a charge per venue. And I particularly like that because that's only going to affect the people that are going to that venue. It's not going to affect uh, mom and dad that's coming in from Sheboygan to go play blackjack. So uh, if they're coming to go to the Eagles concert at the fair, yeah, it's going to affect them. But it should affect those because that's the places that it's needed. So, so having a, a venue is being discussed. Uh, we've also discussed uh, possibly zoning or having different zones that would include Allegiant, um, T-Mobile, and, and uh, if you start in one zone, and I'm just throwing numbers out, nothing to, to hang our hat on, but if it's a ride, if, if a ride is $10 to go from this zone to the very next zone, and then $15 to go from that same zone to go two zones away, or to go three zones away, it just increases each time you cross over the zone. It doesn't matter if they, they take the interstate and go around the zones. If you go from this zone and end up in this zone, the most direct route would be that. So, so there's a few options out there that we can take a look at. The industry is uh, interested in, in meeting with us more. And uh, to member Soderberg's comment last time that this was really moving fast. Uh, I think it might be important for us to slow down a little bit and take a look at all of these different options and come up with the with the best option. Curtis, are you? Do you have any questions for me about any of that that I just discussed? 
I do have a question. Um, I hadn't been near the sphere in a long time, but I know you try to avoid going by there, <laughs> even in the middle of the day. Sure. And then is the pro is is the problem that the access is just poorly designed? Because, I mean, we have big shows at other places, and I have not heard this about all those other places. Yeah. Um, yes, I, I think that's a, a big problem. Uh, as you know, before F1 and since the sphere opened, there was no taxi stand there. I was able to go out and get a taxi stand here, but it was right in the middle of the racetrack. Time, time out. Okay. Thank you. And I we pause. Uh, I think we're off the record. Yeah, we want to pause and restart the meeting to try because we're not we're not broadcasting video now. So we want okay. to put a okay. pause on the meeting. We'll okay. so restart. We'll stand at ease for a moment. It's on a roll. <laughs> <laughs> Erica, should we lead from? I don't think we need to lead from there. Just here. Yeah. <laughs> 